Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Faith Connection 777. We are going to do a general reading for you for the rest of December 2020. Hope you are doing well. This candle is shining extra bright tonight. I don't know why. I find it very interesting, so I apologize for the glare, but why would I apologize for the glare? It's bright. And I feel like this might be a magical reading. Let's get right into it for you, Sagittarius. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so not all of these messages are going to resonate with every single person, okay? You have a choice to make here, Sagittarius. I see a butterfly there. I wonder if this is a pretty big decision you need to make here. One that will help in your growth, perhaps. What else, Spirit? What else do we have for Sagittarius? Remainder of December. We have the Nine of Wands. Okay. You being brave. Here we have a Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Okay. Feeling like possibly here, Sagittarius, you're want to, wanting to control some kind of outcome in your life here. Um, somebody may have be betrayed you in your past here with this Ten of Swords. That's really, it's really made you want to not open your heart perhaps for a new love interest. It also has you guarded with this Nine of Wands energy here. Your heart is guarded, not quite open, not completely open for something new. And with the Emperor card being here, you could be connecting with an Aries. It doesn't have to be, but this is the energy of someone wanting to control an outcome. Spirit, tell me more about this for Sagittarius. I think because of this betrayal, someone here, someone's heart is closed off here, okay? Okay, we have the Five of Cups here. There's depression here. There's um, the thing about the Five of Cups is that there's a sadness for what you don't have, but you're not paying attention to what you do have. So there's a need to look towards gratefulness during, especially during this time during the holidays. We have a Four of Swords energy here. Um, this was at the bottom of the deck. Uh, you're healing from some kind of betrayal or loss in a relationship. Possibly even from, like, a doesn't have to be a very recent relationship. It can be something that's happened in your past that really for the duration of your life has kept you from, it feels like you're stuck, okay? feels like you're not progressing along your path because you're not completely open. There's a blockage here. Let's see what else I can find out. Spirit, tell me more about this Ten of Swords here for Sagittarius. Why is it here, Spirit? Tell me more about this Ten of Swords for Sagittarius, Spirit. Two of Pentacles, okay? Someone was juggling you or you were juggling someone else here, okay? Um... You know, you've been cheated on perhaps in the past and you just don't want that cycle to repeat. You don't want to feel that same level of loss or betrayal. Possibly steal healing over this person. We have a two of wands energy here. I think you really want to get past whatever this is, but it's it's been really hard for you. Okay, there's some kind of choice you need to make in regards to um, possibly some of you here are betraying someone else and it's not fair, okay? If you are juggling someone else, Sagittarius, I feel like this is causing a lot of conflict in your life, possibly, obviously, in your mental, your mind space. If there's betrayal going on. This is not going to be something that will succeed. We have a page of cups here, okay? This could be somebody that's younger than you. Having to make a choice about this individual, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? I think some of you are envisioning your life with this person, possibly trying to make a choice between several different um, individuals here, and now you're having to make a choice because 
I feel like there, if there is betrayal going on, then that, that can't be, that can't flourish for very long, okay? Tell me more about the situation with this two of pentacles spirit. We have the devil here. We have the ten of cups, okay? This, this toxicity in your life is preventing you from getting to this ten of cups happily ever after energy here because you are, there's some toxicity here in your life, okay? You need to, to take a step back and consider what this is, Sagittarius. What is preventing you from ultimate happiness? Some kind of toxicity needs to be let go here. Is this a relationship? Is this a juggling of different relationships here? Take it how it resonates for your specific situation. Okay, I think that somebody hurt you and perhaps you... Just don't want to give your heart completely to another individual ever again because of it. And I think it's time for you to understand where this toxicity is coming from. Seven of Cups, okay? Someone here is weighing their options between different people, okay? Different relationships, okay? You know if this is you. Look, we have the devil coming out twice here. <laughs> double confirmation we have the devil twice okay someone here is juggling you know who you are if that's the case if you are a cross watcher no offense but this toxicity something needs to be resolved with this there's gonna something's gonna happen here let me see what kind of <sighs> Sagittarius let me see what kind of outcome we're gonna see here what's gonna happen with Sagittarius here the fool card there's going to be some kind of new beginning either in you making a choice about where you want to go or losing both of these people it's possible for some of you here okay we have a four of wands here someone here may have a, a renewed sense of home and stability and family um, after they've made a choice about who they want to be in a relationship with, okay? I think there's a choice to be made. Choose the right one and know that this toxicity, whatever this is, is not going to last very long. It's going to lead to a tower moment, okay? I'm surprised I didn't see it here come out already. Interesting. Okay, a lot of you facing this choice know that you trying to control your life and your outcome and everybody else that you're in a relationship with if you're trying to control, um, you know, who sees who and uh, making sure these two people don't cross paths, etc. Like, I think that it, it, it'll end up backfiring. So just know that about this situation, Sagittarius. Okay. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.